Example three, we have, again, oop, I forgot to mark, there we go, 32. We have a circuit where we have, again, three resistances connected in series, as you can see in the diagram. We do know the battery's voltage, and we do know two of the resistances, but we don't know the unknown, go figure. We don't know this resistance, and that is what we're trying to figure out. I will show you two ways to figure it out. First, if they tell me that the unknown resistance has the current of 2 amps, knowing how these resistances are connected, I know that since this is a circuit in series, all the resistances in this circuit get that current, meaning there is 2 amps here and there is 2 amps here. Well then, if I know the amperage, in other words, if I know current and resistance, I should be able to figure out 2 times 2, this is 4, uh, four volts. 4 times 2 is 8 volts. Well then, that's 12. And then if I subtract 12 that I know are here in these two resistances from the total of 32, 12 minus 32 subtracted from 12 gives me 20 volts. Well, then if that is 20 volts, then 20 divided by 2, as in voltage over, uh, over current, would give me a resistance of 10 ohms. That's one way. So I figured out voltages, the remaining voltages for the unknown resistor. And knowing its current, I divided voltage by current and got the resistance. So that was the first way. The second way, which is shorter, you could do, okay, so if I know that I total is 2, and I know that because since it's going through the unknown resistance, it goes through all of it, it's the total current, and the total voltage is given to be 32 volts, well then I can figure out the total resistance, which is 32 over 2, which is 16 ohms. That's my total resistance. And what does it consist of? Well, it has the 2 ohms plus the 4 ohms, which is this and that, plus the unknown. And it equals 16. Well, that's a 6. And that's 16. So that's a 10. That's your other way. So I showed you two ways. Whichever makes more sense to you, use that one. In the lab, you knew the voltage of the battery, measured the current, and then you used the old battery, I mean the old light bulb from part one. So for those of you who are doing, still need to do the uh, practical test, remember you know the voltage of the battery and you know the total current and you're using one of the batteries for which you already calculated the resistance in the first. So it's even easier than this one because it only has two resistors, one known, one unknown. So you can find total and subtract the known from it. Or you can, knowing, it's basically like this. Boom, boom, boom not as pretty as this one. So let's say this is 15. You measure this to be 5.2 volts and you measure current to be 0.2, for example. Well, if the current is 0.2, it's everywhere. So this 15 times 0.2 gets you a 3. And then if this is 3 volts, then this guy will have 5.2 minus 3 which is 2.2 .2 volts, this, then 2.2 .2 over 0 0.2, oops, 0 0.2 would give you 11, 1.1 actually, no, what is it going to be, yeah. oh, yeah, it's going to be 220 over 2, hard to calculate in the morning, there you go, so that's an example but let me take it away so you're not confuzzled when you're copying. This is just to remind you how to do part two on the test. Boom. So altogether, this is example number three. 
and after you have completed this you can go on to example 4 which is very similar I just changed the value for my two resistors 2 and 6 voltage through the battery is 2 and the third resistor has the current of 0.5 alright good luck with that